Now the holidays are at our doorstep, which means that more packages will be at your doorsteps as well. But the drivers who deliver those gifts are facing a frightening trend. Just last night, a man carjacked an Amazon delivery van and crashed it in Seat Pleasant. That's what we find Jess Arnold this morning on Central Avenue. And Jess, police say that the suspect had stolen another car before taking this delivery truck. Yeah, earlier in Prince George's County, then ditched it when he then carjacked the Amazon delivery van in D.C. and drove back to Prince George's County here in Sea Pleasant, where he then crashed that delivery van. Steps from where I am standing right now, we can actually see those skid marks here on the sidewalk. I found what looked to be a little piece of the delivery van here outside of this Dunkin Donuts. We're also near the Seat Pleasant Metro stop. Let's give you a look at some of the locations that are involved in this, according to police. The one on the 1100 block of Bellevue Street in Southeast D.C. is where police say the suspect ditched that first car and carjacked the Amazon van. Now, the pin at the 6400 block of Central Avenue in Seat Pleasant, where we are now, is where the man crashed that van. We're still working to find out where he stole that first car in Prince George's County. D.C. police say that Prince George's County police told them their helicopter was following a carjacked vehicle that was heading into D.C. They then saw the suspect abandon that car in Southeast and commit an armed carjacking of this Amazon Amazon delivery truck. Police say shots were fired, but no one was hurt. The helicopter, D.C. police and Prince George's County police then followed him to Sea Pleasant where he crashed and they took him into custody. Now you can see the delivery driver hadn't finished his route. Packages are laying on the ground in this footage from last night. For at least the last few years around the holidays, we've reported on a few cases of delivery trucks being stolen. In D.C. and Prince George's County, multiple delivery and rideshare drivers have been carjacked in the last few weeks alone. In those cases, they were in their own cars as opposed to a clearly marked delivery van like happened last night. Now to try to fight this problem, D.C. distributed free dash cams to delivery drivers yesterday and last week. Now that doesn't necessarily help them from being stolen but they hope it can help hold the thieves accountable. Now, yesterday was the last day listed on the calendar to distribute those dash cams. I did reach out to D.C. police two hours ago to see if they have any future distributions planned. Now, another popular initiative that D.C. police have been doing the last couple of weeks was handing out some air tags to drivers in some carjacking hotspots in D.C. Online, it says that they're going to post any upcoming distributions, so we'll have to keep you posted on that, too. Wisdom. All right, Jess Arnold reporting there at 603. Now, I know that we we're talking about this particular incident, but, but driver safety has been an issue all across the board. In fact, I did some research on this. This week, Uber announced measures that, would, that they would use to make their drivers safer. For example, they use uh, something called Record My Ride. It allows the uh, drivers to record video of trips using their smartphone's front-facing camera. Also, they will uh, also expand verification of rider identities, and they redesigned trip requests so drivers can more easily decide if the trip is the right one for them.